I'm Hasnan, I'm doing economics and business at Birkbeck Year One. I work at Cornerstone Research as an IT specialist. My background is I just finished my sort of AS slash A levels the year before. Uh, I joined Birkbeck um, and I was working sort of part time or sort of doing an internship now and again around that time uh, at a sort of tech startup. And then from then I managed to secure a sort of full time slash part time job and uh, you know secure the position at Birkbeck as well. Well, I had always heard of the name. I, 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 I had always heard of the sort of one institution in London where I could consistently work and start and do a degree at the same time. I was a little uh, sort of skeptical at the beginning because I thought, how is that even possible? Uh, but upon sort of applying and having a look, uh, it's sort of become apparent that it's a very hard position you put yourself in. You work very hard, but you get the results too. So I initially joined on the foundation year and upon completing about a week or two uh, there was a sort of option uh, available to students who if they were to pass sort of certain ex sort of tests slash examinations uh, to move up to year one uh, if the sort of skill they had was appropriate to make that transfer. So I sort of made that transfer. I th I think I did. I think I did. I think I always uh, put heavy expectations on myself. I think I, I, I would have liked to have got something extremely high, like 90%. But of course, not everything is possible. Um, so, but, but, but I'm happy because uh, you, it's above average. Uh, it's a it's sort of good grade-ish that, that I've achieved. Um, and I think that the ability to sort of work as well, sort of gain that experience, uh, not have all that debt pile up at the end, and get the degree, you're sort of killing you know, three birds with one stone, not even two in this case. Uh, so I did three modules because I'm on, I'm on a part-time course. Mm -hmm. And one of the modules was Introduction to Economics. This was a sort of very broad look at economics and how it shapes society. We used a great new textbook uh, and I felt that was a very sort of comprehensive outlook rather than the standard supply and demand model of teaching economics. Then we did another module called IT and Professional Skills. So we went over using uh, email, using Excel, using Word, but not in the sort of standard sense in the sort of uh, professional environment. So I'm very comfortable using Excel, even some sort of advanced formulas as well, you could say. And the third module I did was Introductory to Quantitative Techniques. And in that it covered, uh, so it was a half-half split of uh, statistics teaching for economics later on down the years. and uh, sort of first principles of differentiation, sort of basic calculus, algebra, and sort of refining those uh, ar sort of arithmetic and calculator and non-calculator skills. Uh, so I had a GCSE and AS level maths, but I feel with maths specifically, it's a lot of it is practice. So you you you, you could have an A level, but uh, you need to be consistently on top of it, learning and making sure you're sort of aware of the rules. For example, we did logarithms. I forgot a lot of the log rules that I'd learned before, so I had to relearn those. But it wasn't anything uh, extremely out of this world difficult, but of course everything has its challenges, of course. Overall, in terms of course structure for introduction to economics, we had, uh, we would have tutorial classes, sort of seminars, where we would have small classes and we would go over either the previous work that we've done the week before or we would go over sort of a new topic, uh, ex expand our horizons, learn new, new things from the textbook. Then we had the overall lectures that you directed and after that sort of the independent learning side of things consisted of Moodle quizzes online and sort of coursework assignments that we did and the, I felt those specific actually assignments were quite helpful. One in the exam and two, in terms of just learning overall, because you, you can spend as many hours as you want on them, you, you, you can sort of tailor them to the way you want to tailor them. There is no set answer. It's uh, whatever is correct in economical sense. Uh, it, it, it's sort of graded uh, 
not based on a mark scheme, but more on correctness, if you could say. Uh, and so you would submit these sort of in reading week and the sort of holiday times. And uh, I felt those were really useful. In terms of the support I got my first year, uh, it was, I feel it was, the lecturers were extremely approachable, uh, friendly and supportive. Uh, and now, I haven't been to any other university, so I can't speak for that directly, but a lot of my friends uh, go to other universities across London and the UK, and they tell me that uh, the support is uh, more lacking, say. Uh, there's a whole formalised process, it takes a long time, compared to where we were able to raise our hands, ask questions, engage in the actual lecture, rather than just being talked at for an hour and a half, which can sort of switch you off. Um, and, you, you know, whenever there's a question asked, a lot of the time our lecturers will uh, compile up the answers and push them out to everyone so everyone can sort of learn from a piece of one individual's question uh, because one for repeat questions and two uh, just to ship, you know, expand the horizons and share the teaching. Uh, the one defining special trait about Backbeck I would say is the ability, the, the location and the night school element of it. The ability to work in probably one of the best, if not the best cities in the world simultaneously is, you can't find that anywhere. It's a sort of unique characteristic. I, I see two ways of doing this. Um, now in three years I will sort of have a better grip of what's exactly going on. But for now my idea is to either have my own enterprise, uh, have gained enough knowledge and skills to sort of start my own maybe small consultancy, a startup, and if not, uh, I would like to be possibly working as an analyst at some sort of big bulge bank or consultant firm. UK financial institutions and markets, probably quantitative techniques for economics and ma macroeconomic theory and policy. Because I think it's a good blend of having the quantitative element to economics which describes all the technicalities uh, that we observe in the graphs, not just knowing what it is but actually having a deep understanding, but simultaneously not getting too far dragged into the statistics and having a grounded uh, understanding of how the actual institutions function in the UK specifically. I can give you two, two, two main key bits of advice. Uh, the first one is, it's universal everywhere, but specifically here because it's a night school, it's very easy to get dragged away, not coming to lectures, etc, etc, because of the evening element of it all. I think you have to, you, you have to put in the work, stay awake, spend the weekends. Uh, it, it's, it, it, it can be tough if you're not used to pulling your own weight, if, if you've just sort of cruised through, uh, you know, your, 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 your previous history. And the second thing is, if you're working as well, I think you need to understand the commitment you're putting in. Uh, for university and work because you don't want to be in a position where you're trying to uh, balance both sides because you can't handle it. Uh, you, there will be times where you have to miss friends, uh, there will be times where you have to cancel on family, but if you are committed for your degree then you, you'll be okay in, in, in the grand scheme of things, but it's about making the right sacrifices and putting in the time. Uh, and uh, as long as you do these things and you sort of give it your best shot, things should work out fine. The relevancy of it all, mm, yeah. of how it relates to the past and the present actually, because it has bits on the Great Depression, the sort of golden age of capitalism in the sort of 60s, 70s, post-World uh, War, Europe and America. Uh, but specifically, I think it's having that global outlook on economics, which is what economics actually is. You see trade wars, US and China today, you see, we're seeing Brexit, we're seeing a rise of populism, we're seeing politics and economics intertwine more than ever, and we, we've just come out of a recession, we're sort of in a quite semi, sort of, you know, American boom in terms of markets, uh, and so Core highlights these things and explains them in quite descriptive detail, rather than going into too much detail about small intricacies which are intuitive by nature, actually. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, the, the, the fact that it's firstly free and online uh, is, is, is great because you're, you're, you're sort of subconsciously aware there's no rent seeking activity here from the publishers. Um, you are, you, you, it's interactive, so you have the graphs, you can, you, the, the data is actually available, the raw data is available. So I remember while I was studying for the climate change uh, side of things, uh, well climate change and the economic effects, there's a McKinsey report which it linked to, a 200 page PDF report, which I read the whole thing of. Now of course you don't have to read this report, but the fact that you can actually do that, rather than having a textbook and it having a link and you possibly going to it or not, the fact that it's online there, ready for you to go to, and that data is consistently updated. You can play around with it in Excel. It, you, you have a sort of live method of teaching. It's almost as if someone is there saying it to you like a private tutor. So I think the uh, sort of delivery of the content is, is almost just as good as the content itself. <music> Encouragement, because it does get tough at times. Even, even for me, someone who's extremely determined, this is the only thing I've ever wanted to do. Uh, you, you know, sort of succeed and work and, and study and everything, I, I would just say is, is, is to just keep your head up because there will be times very tough. Uh, May was an extremely tough month for me. Uh, so I'm a Muslim, so I was fasting during that time. I was working, I was studying. The exams were a few weeks away. So there's a lot of stuff going on all at once, more family commitments, uh, lack of sleep, or trying to balance sleep even. So I think you, you have to be determined. You can't, it, it's not a always party life here, of course you can have that if you want to, but it's about getting your head down, getting your degree, and sort of learning the best way possible, which is from work specifically in industry and in the classroom.